Right, from here starts the speaking test. This is the speaking test of the International English Language, English Language Testing System taking place on Thursday the 11th of February, centre number DDE120, and the candidate is Miss Padia Onsuri. The candidate number is 01413278. The examiner is Samson Sees. Examiner number 443533. Good afternoon, my name is Samson. Would you please tell me your full name? Yes, good afternoon. My name is Padia Onsori. Wonderful. Can I see your identification, please? Yes, sure. Thank you very much. Lovely, thank you. You're welcome. Okay, in the first part of the exam, I will ask you some personal questions. Let's talk about shopping. Do you enjoy shopping? Uh, yes, I enjoy shopping. Uh, usually I go shopping uh, with my uh, friends or um, sometimes uh, I uh, go shopping uh, with my mother and um, usually I uh, shop, uh, on, I use uh, online shopping. Right, and how often do you go shopping and what do you buy? Uh, to be honest, uh, if I have free time, I go shopping because I uh, enjoy it and uh, whenever I go shopping, uh, I uh, buy some um, mm, must-haves. For example, uh, I, uh, I uh, buy uh, clothes or uh, something uh, that I needed. That yes. I need. Wonderful. So, do you prefer to go shopping alone or with other people? Um, frankly speaking, I uh, prefer to go uh, shop uh, with my friends uh, because uh, I uh, like. Um, uh, someone um, uh, give a feedback, um, give me feedback for um, uh, buying something. Okay, I'd like to move on now and ask you some questions about food. What is your favorite food? Uh, to be honest, uh, I like um, junk food uh, and uh, uh, home uh, home cooked uh, meal. But uh, if I want to choose, uh, if I uh, want to choose one of them, I choose uh, junk food. Well, and what kind of restaurants do you like to eat out at? Uh, uh, to be honest, uh, I prefer to go uh, international uh, cuisine and uh, I like uh, to eat um, an international food like a sushi or um, uh, an Italian food. And what would your perfect meal be altogether? Uh, could you please repeat your question, please? Sure. Uh, what would your perfect meal be? Mm -hmm. uh, I, uh, if I want to choose um, a food, uh, I uh, like to choose, um, for example, um, an Italian food like a pasta or um, a pizza. Great. I'd like now to talk about your hobbies. Tell me about any hobbies you have. Okay. Uh, to be honest, uh, these days um, I don't have enough free time, uh, but if I have free time, uh, I usually uh, I like um, playing uh, volleyball with my friends or uh, reading, um, uh, reading books. Are there any hobbies you would like to have in the future? Uh, yes, uh, if I, um, uh, if I uh, can choose a, a, a hobby, uh, I would choose, uh, for example, uh, uh, playing piano because I like it. Wonderful. And do you think hobbies should be relaxing or should they be exciting? Why? Uh, uh, if I want to choose a, a hobby, uh, I prefer to choose um, a relaxing hobby uh, because uh, these days uh, I'm very busy and uh, I uh, prefer to choose a, a relaxing thing for um, get, uh, for getting energy. Wonderful. Okay. Now I'm going to give you a topic, and I'd like you to talk about it for one to two minutes. Before you talk, you'll have one minute to think about what you're going to say, and you can make notes if you wish. Do you understand? Okay. 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 So here's a piece of paper and pencil. Thank you. To make notes. And here is your topic. I'd like you to describe a course you have done that you found useful. Okay. 
Okay, so you'll have one minute to make notes. Um, you may start making notes now, one minute. Okay, you may now start talking for your two minutes. Please okay. go ahead. Uh, yesterday, uh, uh, last year, uh, I uh, took uh, a Spanish classes uh, with uh, a friend of mine. And uh, uh, in, uh, the, during the class, uh, whenever uh, my uh, teacher uh, was giving the lecture, uh, always I uh, take uh, notes and after that I uh, read it and uh, practice um, on it uh, because uh, I, uh, I wanna um, I wanna go to um, Spain uh, in the future and uh, I want uh, to uh, and I want um, and I want to uh, uh, communicate with other people and uh, know about uh, the culture and uh, tradition of uh, the Spanish uh, people and uh, uh, I love this uh, language and uh, uh, I think uh, I can uh, know about uh, all the uh, Spanish uh, features uh, by uh, learning uh, Spanish language but uh, I think uh, this uh, language uh, uh, was so uh, difficult and uh, whenever uh, I uh, wanted to uh, speak, uh, I uh, got uh, uh, stress, and uh, I um, I couldn't uh, speak uh, fluency. Uh, but uh, after uh, some time, uh, I uh, I, I could uh, um, I could uh, speak uh, more uh, fluency and uh, uh, practice more and more uh, with my friend and. Uh, I um, can uh, speak it uh, well, and uh, in the future, uh, whenever I um, go, uh, whenever uh, I uh, go to the uh, Spain, uh, I think uh, I can. Okay, thank do you it very well. much. That's the end of the two minutes. Um, may I have your papers back? Yes, please? sure. Thank you very much. Okay, so we've been talking about a course that you have done and you found useful. I'd now like to ask you some questions related to this. Okay. First, let's consider homework. Do you think it is important that children are given homework? Uh, I think uh, whenever um, the children uh, at a school um, learn uh, something, for example, uh, mathematic or uh, about mathematic or history, uh, of course, uh, they should do um, some uh, homeworks about it for uh, uh, for understand about it uh, better, and uh, uh, if uh, they want to use uh, them uh, in the situation, in this situation, uh, I think uh, they can use uh, better than uh, other situation. All right. And how much homework should they be given? Do you think? Um, I think uh, they should uh, do homework uh, every day, but uh, if uh, they um, haven't uh, enough time, uh, they can uh, do their homework, uh, for example, uh, three or uh, four times uh, a week. But uh, I prefer, um, uh, but I prefer to uh, uh, do the do, um, for example, uh, my homework uh, every day. And do you think parents should help their children with their homework, or should it be done alone? Uh, 
to be honest, um, uh, I prefer to um, the parents uh, help them, but uh, in some situation, uh, I think it's better uh, they uh, uh, do their homework uh, alone uh, because uh, maybe uh, they uh, uh, want, for example, a uh, student um, uh, don't have uh, any person uh, for uh, helping them. Okay. And we'll now discuss the relationship between education and work. How important is it to have a university education to get a job in your country? Um, to be honest, I have never thought about it, but uh, I think, uh, in my con especially uh, in my country, uh, people, uh, when, uh, whenever uh, they want to uh, find uh, a job, uh, it's uh, not important to have a uh, uh, degree uh, or not. Uh, it's, uh, it's important to uh, have uh, some uh, experience, uh, experiences and um, after that uh, I think uh, they, can, uh, um, they can find uh, a good job. And does having a degree from another country enhance employment opportunities in your country? Uh, could you please repeat your question? Absolutely. Now, does having a degree from another country mm -hmm. uh, help get a job in your country? Uh, I think uh, it's not important uh, when a, per a person has a degree of another country uh, because uh, in my country, whenever, um, for example, a person has uh, some uh, experiences, uh, they, can, um, they can find uh, a good job but uh, we have some person have um, a lot of uh, degrees with um, some kinds of uh, topics, but uh, he or she um, can't find a good job. Right. And what impacts do students who have studied abroad have on their country of origin when they come home? Uh, I think, um, in my opinion, uh, when a person um, um, study abroad, and uh, gets uh, studies abroad and gets um, a degree of um, foreign country. Uh, it's uh, so uh, useful for uh, it's so useful for uh, he or she because um, uh, they can um, know about uh, other language or uh, other uh, culture or traditional of um, that country, and maybe uh, he or she can um, uh, use uh, use them. Uh, in uh, their job. And uh, do or you course. think, all right, okay, and are you hopeful about the future system of the education in your country? Um, could you please repeat your sure. question? Um, do you have high hopes about the education system mm -hmm. in your country in the future? Uh, I hope uh, in the future uh, some of the courses uh, in the university or uh, in the school uh, uh, will um, progress and uh, different from now. For example, uh, some um, uh, students want uh, to, uh, for example, want to know about uh, some arts or um, some um, instruments. But uh, now these days, uh, they uh, should uh, learn about just mathematics or uh, history and physics or something like that. Okay, thank you very much. That is the end of the speaking test. Well, you can take a deep breath now. <laughs> I'll give you some uh, feedback as to how you did. Let's first look at your uh, band score here. So, you know, considering the four criteria, uh, fluency and coherence, vocabulary, uh, grammar and accuracy and pronunciation, all together, you know, we're, we're looking at a, a six at the moment. I wanted to give you a 6.5. I really wanted to. Um, there, were, there are certain issues you know, we, we, we need to look at uh, so you can inc increase that band score. You can increase one band score if you follow the, um, the, the techniques of mm -hmm. what we're looking at here. So altogether, I mean, I, I, I thought you spoke very well. And um, you were, I mean, your fluency, the, the way you, you understood the questions mostly. You understood the questions. Um, but uh, you know, you, sometimes you didn't. But when I repeated the question, or mm -hmm. rephrased, when I paraphrased the question, you could, and you could talk about the topic. So you, you understood that you were answering the questions 
uh, fluently. The, what, the problem I had, you, were, you had a lot of uh, self-repetition. I see that that's, that's damaging a little bit, your, your fluency and coherence. A lot of self-repetition there, uh, plenty of ums. See, if, if I was in your position, I would uh, I'll definitely uh, use some linking words mm -hmm. as to, you know, linking your uh, sentences together. Uh, though you could also uh, improve your vocabulary. Uh, in part one, I didn't have a problem with your vocabulary, but I, th I thought you were a little bit challenged, uh, especially with, the, with part two. Um, what I would do, if in, in part two, I think you were still on the uh, same topic and you could have gone a little bit off topic and maybe uh, elaborated on what, what you wanted to talk about when, when you were discussing uh, the, when you wanted to go abroad and all those sort of things. Uh, but, you know, the, all these can be achieved, so, you know, don't worry too much about that. Um, so you had uh, lots of uh, self-repetitions here and uh, self-corrections. I mean, that's something uh, I think you could work on. And, uh, you know, some errors here and there, it's you know, different from now. You, you would say maybe a, a few words, some places that they're probably not linked. I'll definitely, you know, work with the accuracy on your grammar uh, here and there. Uh, that's actually probably where I had most problems with you there. Uh, lots of, uh, some grammatical errors. Uh, that's, that's what's been marking you down. That's, I wanted to give you the 6.5, mm -hmm. but then the, uh, lots, lots of the self-repetition and self-correcting and grammatical errors. But, you know, don't worry about that. They can be achieved. Um, it, it's, it's, it's more practice, practicing these techniques. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, you, if, if you had more of the linking words, and maybe you could paraphrase here and there, so basically, a reword some of your sentences. I mean, you did that in, in some points when I asked you some questions. Uh, you would refer to the question, which is a very good technique in IELTS speaking. Nothing wrong with that. That's a very good idea. Um, pronunciation, altogether, oh, I didn't have too much problem with your pronunciation. I thought it was good. Uh, I mean, that was, at, at some point, you said uh, degree, which, which is it's degree. So, you know, maybe a, a few pronunciation issues here and there, but not too much. You don't really have too many problems with the pronunciation. I'm, I'm mostly concerned about the, the, the fluency. Also, you could uh, work with your intonation. If, if you work with your intonation, and maybe I know it's very difficult with a mask. Mm -hmm. uh, so, you know, I took that into consideration as well. It, it's hard to express yourself behind a mask. And um, definitely, uh, it, it, you you needed more movement with that to express yourself because every time I wear a mask, I have the same problem. Mm -hmm. um, but, you know, I took that into consideration. I think mostly it's the, uh, the ums and the ahs and, you know, lots, lots of you were very hesitant at, at, at many points. So I'll definitely, you know, work on that and work on the intonation. So intonation, that can be improved if you, uh, with, with more listening skills, I would mm -hmm. say. If you watch your favorite movies or you listen to your favorite songs, uh, Preferably someone talking. If, if someone's talking and you listen to them, that would really help. And then uh, you look in front of the mirror. Uh, you, if you, you practice this every night, you speak loudly, you practice certain sentences and uh, record your voice and then listen to them. And then simple sentences. After you've done that and you've mastered the simple sentences, then you can uh, go to more complex sentences. Mm -hmm. If, if, you're more, if you're familiar with uh, more complex sentences, you can get a higher band score, definitely. And uh, it will definitely it will show the examiner how you're, you're, you've got a better command of the English language anyway. So I would definitely uh, think about that. Vocabulary, it's, yeah, it, it is good, but you, you could still improve on that. You still have room to improve on your vocab. Uh, so basically, you could learn maybe I don't know, four or five new words every day, something related to something you already know. Uh, that would help you uh, paraphrase when you want to have your next uh, IELTS speaking test or mock test. Uh, that will give you some more uh, range, basically your vocabulary range, to just keep uh, you know, expressing new words or words similar so you don't uh, repeat yourself. That would also help you come off that, that self-repetition. Um, that that's basically it. And uh, do you do you have any questions? No. You sure? Thank you. Oh, it's uh, it's my pleasure. <laughs> uh, good luck with everything. I know uh, all of them. <laughs> yeah, you know all of them. <laughs> yeah, definitely take all these. Um, what I'm telling you, take all these techniques into consideration. That will definitely help you enhance your band score. Not by half, but one one whole band score. You can really uh, improve on that. Yes. Um, especially and you know with like I said before, I'll just repeat one more time. Definitely. Uh, work on paraphrasing 
and linking words. Mm -hmm. when, you, when you have linking words and linking sentences, that will help you uh, think about the, the idea that mm -hmm. you have in your head, especially for part two. I think at one point you were sort of uh, hesitant and you were thinking, oh goodness me, have, have I finished the two minutes yet? So if, if you have your idea and then you, you, your idea is finished, then you can go on to talk about something. It's nothing wrong with talking off topic or it doesn't have to be necessarily uh, logical or correct. Basically, it's, it's more of a, t a timing situation we're mm -hmm. talking about here. Part two, maybe a little bit of part three. Uh, enhance your answers as well in, in part three because it's, it's all about expressing ideas and having uh, a conversation with, with the examiner. But, you know, altogether, uh, very good and hopefully uh, you'll definitely do better and you'll improve with, with these techniques that I'm telling you. And I wish you the best of luck. Sure, thank you. My pleasure.